You've had a day to digest last night's game. What do you think as you look back? Yeah, everything I said last night, they, they won the game. They deserved to win. They pushed us out in the third period. There's things we can do better, and hopefully we, uh, we can make the adjustments for tomorrow. You had 10 guys make their playoff debut last night in the American Hockey League on your roster. That's a lot. They had guys too, but they've already played the game one. Yeah. One of the things I keep thinking about a lot today, and it, and it comes up in what you said to the team last night, it's how you react to it. It's not necessarily that you played your first game. It's how you react to that first game, maybe. Yeah, like I, I, we're a young group. Like I, I don't know if there's a younger team in the league right now. Um, it's just our situation and the way it is with the injuries and the people that we're missing. Um, we're very, very young. And so there's some experience that uh, you're lacking in different situations. But we played hard yesterday. We did some good things. We had a great start to the game. Um, we liked how we started. You know, as a group, we just need to focus on getting better each and every day. Obviously, we want to win every game we play, and we're going to try very, very hard tomorrow to get a split. Um, we had a good practice today. We addressed a few things through video, and I think the guys know they want to do well. I thought we, our emotions and stuff were pretty good yesterday. We didn't get on the roller coaster of uh, riding that and things seeming like they're bigger than they are, but we're a young group. There's no doubt about it. Um, you know, every team has young guys, but 10 guys playing their first pro game, that's, that's a lot. So, uh, you know, we have really good, talented young guys, and we're really proud of the group. But uh, we'll be better tomorrow. We, we know we're going to play a little better tomorrow. That 60 minutes of experience, you think that makes a big difference? Yes and no. Uh, in the end, everything matters, but nothing does matter. So I think for our group, they're, they're going to learn. They're going to learn what Texas is trying to do, what we need to focus on. You know, what their keys are against us, what our keys are against them. Everyone's got their focus. Uh, we know what we need to do and where we need to correct. And we know what we need. To, the group understands where we're going. And uh, they're not fighting us or pushing back on what we need to do to, to get the success we're looking for. They just need to go all in and make sure they understand. It's, it's, it, you're not going to win the series in one day. And so you just have to worry about your next shift and your next period and your next opportunity and that, that's got to be the focus as a group as you push forward is the baby steps that lead to the end goal. You have been so good at knowing when to push, when to pull back and you've said that one of the big things about being a coach is knowing when to you go overboard and maybe overcoach. I'm curious though after a game like that and it's the first game for so many and reacting to it and coming all and it's the playoffs where, where does that leave you as a coach and your staff as coaches? Yeah, well, we analyze everything we just do what we do and uh, the angles are always dependent on how the group is and what we feel they need. Uh, as a coach, you, you know, the number one mistake we make is we get in the way too often. And so you have to find the balance of uh, how do we help this group get better? It, it's not always what you want to do, it's what the group needs. And so you have to have that pulse. I think as a younger coach, sometimes you let your own needs get in front of the group and that's when you get yourself in trouble. Uh, but for us, it's just, it's just analyzing what we saw, who can play better. You know, do you tweak, do you change things? Um, for us, there's little things we're going to tweak, but the group individually, I thought we handled it well. We showed the video that we needed to. Um, I think the group, we got their attention. I think they understand where we're going and what we're going to try to do. Now, Texas is going to push too. You know, they got their first win. Uh, they know they got three on the road coming up. They definitely want to get the, the win tomorrow. We're going to do everything we can to get a split so we go home uh, a little bit uh, better spot than going home down to last one you you said the, you like the effort is that where is that percentage wise is it 60 percent is it, and execution obviously is a main thing all of this stuff but if you have the effort do you, you feel like you're in the game right yeah the effort was there but not to the extent that we needed um, and the detail wasn't there so you know you turn pucks over against texas they're going to ram it down your throat and they did a good job of that yesterday uh, we have to make sure we're making solid plays. We don't want to just get rid of the puck all the time and play defense. That's not what we do here. We, I think we have a good balance. We're third in the league for defense and fourth for scoring. So we do a little bit of everything. I think we have pretty good balance. Um, you know, we, as a group, we just want to really want to focus on what we need to do, increase the effort, but increase the focus on the details and what our keys are for the success of the winning the series. Um, Every team's going to make mistakes, but we don't want to make mistakes in the areas that are going to help Texas. So that'll be the focus going into tomorrow.